I have my Batman story. One of the first missions I went on, we were up at Tiger Mountain. We got a call from a dad and his two young kids, a boy and a girl. And dad had just got a new ham radio and he had been following, the daughter was leading, the youngest. He was fiddling with his ham radio all the way along the trails and pretty soon it starts to turn to dusk, it starts to rain. They're all in t-shirts and shorts. They realize they have no idea where they are. Pulls his phone out, had been in roaming all day and the battery had died. He got on one of the local radio frequencies that gets used a lot, made contact with someone and said, hey, I'm lost, I'm up on Tiger Mountain, we have no food, no water, we're in shorts and t-shirts, it's starting to rain, it's getting cold, I'm really worried. That person got a hold of 911, they called us, we got one of our helicopters overhead, and then when he made contact with us on the radio, we told him, Take anything you have that makes light, aim it straight up in the air and make as much light as you can. And he had a camera with him. So he turned the flash on his camera and he started flashing pictures up in the air. Our helicopter, which was equipped with a couple of sheriff's officers that had infrared goggles on, they were able to see that beacon. It was like a Batman signal, <laughs> like a bat signal. They were able to hover over top of where they were, take GPS coordinates, call those down to the command center where we were working, and we were able to send a team in to get them. And I'll never forget when they actually came out of the woods and the little girl came running over and she threw her arms around my legs and grabbed and held on. She's like, thank you for saving our lives. And I looked down and in that moment I saw my kids and I thought, I will do this for the rest of my life. <laughs>